Well, I moved to Houston when I was 15 to study with the Houston Ballet. The principal was like, well, you know, dear, you're short. So you have to be that much better and that much thinner than everyone else. My first pageant, I didn't plan to win. And then when I won, suddenly I get a list from the judges of everything I need to change about myself. That's something that I think I took on, was that I need to drop 10 pounds. I went in, screen tested, got down to the final two for this movie, and didn't get it. And they ended up padding up the girl that did. And that was probably the most heartbreaking, that like, even, even I, I couldn't even be me in that moment. I felt like I was in this really dark hole in this ground and I saw one ray of light and I could see hands of my family and friends like reaching down to help me get out of it and I couldn't reach them. I would have dreams about that all the time. My dad's Mexican, he's from Mexico, and then we moved down there, it was like all white. I felt I had to try harder to fit in. I know how I do this, I just will stop eating. <laughs> in Malaysia, it was a lot easier to um, kind of hide the fact that it was an eating disorder. I had a CAT scan, an MRI, like all this stuff, because they were trying to figure out why I was losing weight so rapidly, and I was just like so deep in the problem that I couldn't just say I have an eating disorder. I could control what I ate less and less and less and gave me more and more power, I thought. I can control this and be in control of this and I'll win. Starvation diets, exercising until I would have to pass out. I could go lower if I just cut out one more meal. My teachers were like, you look fantastic, you look great. I think it would be great if you just, I think it was uh, 98. And, and she was like, I think 96 is your perfect weight. And I was like, okay, yeah, I think so too. That'll be great. 